What is up, you guys? Your girl is back, back, back. Your girl is back with some more content for you guys. Um, Y'all know I can't, the whole consistency is what's throwing me, okay? I could probably be so much more successful if I actually stick to what I like to do. But for right now, we're going to upload this video. So today's video is all about my sister's baby shower that I will be hosting and having for her. So I'm super excited. This has been a long time coming because, baby, when I tell you I've been planning, I've been planning. If you guys been here from the beginning of my channel, you guys know that I posted another baby shower for my sister, for my niece, um, a while back. And, you know, it was it was fun. It was cute. Y'all about to see how I got into it. I'm going to um, hopefully be able to drop all the prices on everything on how much I spent on this baby shower so if you're planning on doing a baby shower similar to this or you know you just you want to break it to your first baby shower y'all watch this video okay watch this video because hopefully it'll give you an idea of what you should and should not do but without further ado y'all let's go ahead and jump into this video and I hope you guys enjoy give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe if y'all really feel like it's vibe and I'm gonna catch y'all towards the end of this video <laughs> Alright you guys, so I got these two foam boards from Home Depot. They were $31 a piece. That was not my intention to get the higher one, the more expensive one, because this is my first time ever doing it. But I am glad I ended up going with this one because when I tell y'all I took that box cutter and was able to create the shape I wanted less than, y'all, I think it took me maybe 20 minutes to do the cutout and the layout of everything. Y'all, so easy. All I had to do was make slits in it and basically pop it out, as y'all can see super easy and then just to make it more like clean cut look at that nice all i had to do for the clean cut was to just shape it a little bit more and just grab some um sanding paper that i got from the dollar tree and just smooth it out like y'all if y'all are able to try to go with this one a little more expensive but i do think it's worth it the second one i end up making three different little arches three different little designs and i end up cutting them out and was able to pop them out just like the first one all right y'all so it's the next day i woke straight up and went straight outside to start spray painting all of my foam boards um with this spray paint don't use spray paint okay the foam board with the adhesive from the spray paint it basically does not give you a smooth finish it messes up the foam so if you can try to hand paint using some white primer to prime all of your boards because girl and it was actually a really quick process when i ended up doing them because i don't i did them outside so you know it was actually a really good timing for all of it i was able to paint all of them at the same time after priming them this is a bigger board and look at me i had to get some more paint because the bigger board is a lot bigger than the other ones but I was just, wrote, look at that, look at the product, look, look at that. Girl, it didn't take me no time to do all these boards. The top of the arch is broken by accident. Um, I did have them sitting straight up in the garage, which ended up breaking them off. This yellow spray paint, I did not use it because I did not like the color of the yellow with the other colors that I have for the backdrops. Y'all, I ended up going with, in with some boots paint. Y'all see that? I paid $2 for just that one jug. Each of those jugs that's about the same size for $2. And y'all, look at that color. I was like, I lucked up with going in this hoop section for this baby shower. Like, if y'all can, if y'all can find those colors that y'all want for whatever event that you're planning, go to the hoop section. See this one right here? I only paid 50 cent for it. Y'all hear me? 50 cent. That's crazy for some paint. And it was really nice. It did turn out a lot smoother with the paintbrush, but girl, I had places to go and people to see. So I ended up just, you know, opting out to this rolling paintbrush. But yeah, y'all, it's a way easier to just paint it, get, give yourself enough time, paint the things with a regular paintbrush and some regular interior paint and call it a deck. Okay, I love how the big one turned out. The color turned out so pretty. Turned on my Megan Thee Stallion and had to get to work. Okay, do y'all hear me? Okay, so now I'm going in with this Here Comes the Sun vinyl from Amazon. It was $16.99. Um, I'm gonna link it down below, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This was not my favorite thing that I ordered from Amazon. If I had to leave a review, I would definitely leave it like a two or a three. It just wasn't sticky. Um, I do not have a Cricut or a, a Silhouette. I don't know nobody that has one. And I just was like, this is easier. Well, 
So I'm putting them all down. I'm like, oh my God, it's looking so cute. It's looking, it's coming to life. So you know, just making sure, you know, laying it out with my butt and my legs thinking it's going, no y'all, it started to lift. So uh, by that time, my niece came in and wanted to help. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna let her put down the Mod Pod. I used the Mod Pods to make sure they stayed and y'all, it actually did the trick. So I just basically put it on top and kind of up under some of the creases that was lifting. And yeah, we had our little drink break and um, I got to work on the next part. All right, y'all, so I got this filling stick from Shein. Yes, it was like either $2.99, between $2.99 and $5.99. I'm not really sure, but it's basically used for like you know, like a room decor, but I, of course I use it for my decorations because you can't tell me what to use it for. Um, it ended up being the perfect size. Then I ended up going and getting these photos from Free Print. I think I paid like $5 and some change. I got these frames from Dollar Tree. My sister had a maternity shoe and I was like, we're not gonna let all these photos go to waste. So I ended up making these photos, like some of the centerpieces so they can kind of, you know, see my sister in a different light. Um, and then these, I got these um, brown pieces of paper from Mark uh, Michaels. And I just put them behind there because the photos weren't now these bags I got from Dollar Tree, they had hand sanitizer, bath bomb, wipes, disposable bags, and a big pacifier holder with a customized cup that I made. These bags were for the godmoms and the grandmothers. There was a total of four bags. And um, yeah, it was actually, they really did like these bags. Each godmom had their own custom name on their bag. I doubt they went back and used these bags, but I thought it went so perfect with the thing. So I was like, let's see going I put the little yellow tissue paper in there and then um, I added these shades to it that I got from she in and came in a pack of three so I was very grateful for that now moving on to the gift bags and like the gift bags um so these bags I got these gold bags I got from she in for I can't remember the price but I'll definitely link it down below the hand sanitizers and all the candles came from Dollar Tree um, and they actually didn't smell like they didn't smell too bad. So um, I put three items in each golden bag and then I separated like the hand sanitizer and the bath bomb in their own little um, mesh bag, mesh brown bag. And the mesh brown bags also came from, yep, you guessed it, she and girl. So um, yeah. So I ended up using these brown little containers here for the guys because it was a coat at baby shower. So it just had like a shot of liquor with a shot glass in them just because, you know, make it simple for the guys. You know, they'll be needing too much, you know, too many requirements. So we did that for them. And then, like I said, those was three items in each gold bag. And that was that. Here are the small gold boxes. Um, you know, like stay golden. So that's why gold was our accent color. And these little gold boxes, we end up putting like the Hershey Nuggets. They were like the perfect size. It came in a pack of 50. There were a total of 30 something guests. So um, the 50 pack was like more than enough. So I got these balloons from Amazon. Um, I've been having this balloon pump for quite a while, but I will link it down below as well if you guys want to also get that as well. Um, the balloons came out a lot lighter than I expected, but they were really nice quality. They lasted pretty well. Um, these photos we got from Office Depot for like $16.99 a piece. My mom ordered two. So um, they turned out really, really nice and they were 16 by 20. And then um, I got these frames from the Goodwill. That was like $3.99, like a few months prior. Uh, before I even thought about having a baby shower, I just like the frames. Now let's talk about me getting into me making all of these like cute little items for the tree table. All right, you guys, so I made the, these little pretzels. By this point, I don't watch enough YouTube videos. I'm like, I got this in the bag. This ain't my second, ro this is like my second or third rodeo. Let me go ahead and do what I know how to do. But my chocolate, look at this chocolate. It looks slumpy, okay? The yellow one turned out really nice, but I ain't let that stop the show and it ended up still being just as good. So if y'all gonna do it, make sure y'all do it. Don't let it stop you. You got this. What's up, you guys? So we just got up. Um, Right now, um. I'm about to do my makeup. Yes, y'all see the skin. The skin is skinning. Mm. Yes, I'm about to do my makeup. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my sister's makeup. And then I'm going to start packing up my car. Just so we can start getting stuff rolling. Okay? Um, and then eventually I'll have to run to the store and get, of course, some last few things. Because why, why would it be a great smooth transition if we didn't have to run to the store again? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm about to do my makeup. And then I'm going to get back with y'all. Excuse me. 
<laughs> All right, you guys. So the makeup is done. Makeup is beat. Let me show you my sister's face because she looks cute too. I'm showing her. I'm showing you. I'm showing you on the camera. I'm showing you on this camera. <laughs> Why are you be? Look, look, look. This on my teeth. What you want to say? Oh, I see it. You still got your blush on. Okay. Nip. Say hey, DJ. Eyebrows done by me once again. Yeah, that's hey, Grandpa. Hey. That, you know what? All right, y'all. So when DJ came, she brought the little, um, what is it called? Bottle openers. Yeah. And it came with like a little keychain. Real cute. Real cute. And then we end up putting it in this little bag here. I got it from Shein, y'all. I'm going to try to link it down below. But it's so cute. And then we have the bottle openers and some chocolate in here for the little gifts. So. All right, y'all. So now we're about to um, head to the community center and then go ahead and start setting up. My uncles aren't here yet to bring over the bigger items. So we're just going to go ahead and set up like the centerpieces and tables and stuff and then get the bigger stuff when they get here. So, yeah.